Each week, we have a local animal shelter bringing a pet that's up for adoption and let you know how you can add that pet to your family. Today, we're joined by Jordan Fry with the San Diego Humane Society and her sweetheart, Micah. So tell us about Micah. Well, thanks for having us here, and Micah is very excited to be here. <laughs> Micah is just about 10 months old, and this poor sweet girl has had quite a life already. She was found alone and she was pretty sick, dehydrated, Aww. had lots of fleas, but our medical team has taken amazing care of her and our animal caregivers. And as you can see, she's feeling so good now. Yeah, you can't even tell that she <laughs> she was out on the streets or had maybe a, a little bit of a rough little stint there. She mm -hmm. is absolutely adorable. I love her coloring. She's a beautiful girl and still growing. She has that fun, playful puppy energy, <laughs> and she's ready to find a home to take all of that to. And I know you may not know, but do you know if she, any guesses if she's good with other animals or kids? So she's pretty gentle for a puppy. We definitely recommend taking any um, introductions at home mm -hmm. slow, but she does not seem reactive to other dogs when we've walked her by them. She's pretty uh, mellow mannered there. That's awesome. And she's been super <laughs> sweet and just a little, <laughs> giant love bug here for with us today. And you guys have so many cats and dogs in particular right now. So you have a special going on this weekend only. Yes, this weekend we're so excited. Uh, this Saturday and Sunday, you can adopt an adult dog or cat and that's seven months or older. So that includes dogs like Micah for just $20. 20 bucks and that includes uh, spay or neuter, microchipping, all of that stuff, correct? Yes, all of our pets are spay and neutered. They have their microchip, like you said, and we'll register, <laughs> help you register that. And they're up to date on all of their vaccines. And then also on your screen, you saw your other special, your BOGO special. So tell us about that one. Yes, in addition to that, through July 2nd, um, if you adopt two cats, kittens, puppies, Ooh. rabbits, guinea pigs, or rats, we're going to waive the second adoption fee. So you're just paying one adoption fee to take two pets home. That's twice the love and uh, two more animals out of the shelter to make room for even more animals in need. And let's say my friend and I both want to adopt an animal. What if, could we do the BOGO together or do you have to take, do both pets have to go to the same home? It's two pets going to one adopter. Okay. But bring your friends because you're going to have <laughs> even, I bet everyone who comes is going to find an amazing match. I mean, you got, you have a lot of animals right now, so it's yeah. hard not to find your perfect one, including Micah here. Including Micah. And you have, we have the 4th of July holiday coming up. Um, give us some tips that you would suggest for keeping your pets safe this uh, 4th of July. Yes. So as you mentioned, the shelter is very full and we know that even more pets get lost on the 4th of July, even the holiday weekend before and the days after. You have fireworks going off at all times of the day and night. So we wanna take this chance to let people who already have pets at home um, prepare for the 4th and keeping their pets safe. So you wanna make sure your pet has a microchip, that they're wearing a collar with their ID, and that all of that has an up-to-date uh, contact information for you on it. So if they do get out, they can get back to you very quickly. And this weekend, uh, tomorrow, the 24th, we are hosting a prepare fair at our San Diego campus. We're giving out free microchips, free one-year licenses for dogs, and so many more giveaways. We'll have our behavior and training experts there to talk to pet parents on how to set up a safe space at home <laughs> and make your pet feel safe and um, really secure this fourth especially. Especially and if you're thinking about fostering now is a really great time so that you can clear out some space for the shelters for those animals that are going to be coming in. So um, so the prepare fair is at your Gain Street shelter. Yes. Main campus. We have all of that information as well as information on Micah and those two specials that we also talked about on our website 10news.com just look for pet of the week and you'll see this cutie space yes. right on there. Thank you Jordan and thank you thank Micah you. for being here. <laughs> she loved it.